I shall now announce certain additional measures. And uh, there are about, I think, six measures. There are uh, uh, five measures, and uh, they are very important. I request your patience. The first one relates to penal interest or penal charges on loans. At present, regulated entities of the Reserve Bank are required to have a policy for levy of penal interest on advances. The regulated entities, however, follow divergent practices on levying of such charges. In certain cases, these charges are found to be excessive. To further enhance transparency, reasonableness, and consumer protection, draft guidelines on levy of penal charges will be issued to obtain comments from stakeholders. The next annou announcement relates to climate risk and sustainable finance. Recognizing the importance of climate-related financial risks, which may have financial stability implications, the Reserve Bank had issued a discussion paper on climate risk and sustainable finance on, uh, you know, sometime in uh, July last year, that is in July 22. Based on the feedback received, it has been decided to issue guidelines for, and there are three things here, it has been decided to issue guidelines for uh, the regulated entities uh, on number one, a broad framework for acceptance of green deposits, two, disclosure framework on climate related financial risks, and three, guidance on climate scenario analysis and stress testing. So these measures together will ensure that our financial system also starts developing, you know, starts building in the forces of resilience to withstand any possibility or any, pos you know, any uh, possible emergence of vulnerability to climate change. And I think these measures are quite timely. These are the first set of measures. There are a few other measures which will follow in due course. But for the time being, we are announcing these three measures. The next one relates to expansion of the scope of the trades platform. For the benefit of MSMEs, the Reserve Bank had introduced a framework in 2014 to facilitate financing of their trade receivables, that is the trade receivables of the MSMEs uh, through the trade receivables discounting system, that is the trades. It is now proposed to expand the scope of trades by first providing insurance facility for invoice financing, second permitting all entities and institutions to uh, undertaking factoring business to, par to, participate in to participate as financiers in trades, and third, permitting rediscounting of invoices, that is, developing a secondary market in trades. These measures are expected to improve the cash flows of the MSMEs. The next announcement, uh, the next measure relates to extending UPI for inbound travelers to India. UPI has become hugely popular for retail digital payments in India. It's now proposed to permit all inbound travelers to India to use UPI for their merchant payments, that is P2M, while they're in the country. To begin with, this facility will be extended to travelers from G20 countries arriving at select international airports. And this is to begin with, going forward, obviously it will be expanded based on our experience. And the last announcement again relates to, it's an announcement which is again for uh, the benefit of the common person. Uh, this relates to QR, boast, QR code based coin vending machine and launching of a pilot project. The Reserve Bank of India will launch a pilot project on QR code based coin vending machine in 12 cities. These vending machines will dispense coins against debit to customer's account using UPI instead of physical tendering of bank notes. This will enhance the ease of access to coins. Based on the learnings from the pilot, guidelines will be issued to banks to promote distribution of coins using these machines.